Okay, guys, Fasadai. So I know we've covered it for the last two weeks. So today we're going to get to the end of Kata. So as we did last week, we're going to start from the beginning, go up to where we got to with a little bit of detail, and then we have a lot of detail at the end. So Kata, Fasadai, yoi, us, Fasadai. So remember, the right hand is closed, the left hand is open with the thumb on top, or just with the others, like in Shuto. So remember, the weight comes forward as you pull the hands back on that first move. Make sure you're dropping as you go in. And step through and block. Pitch. Okay, good. So we're in Kosadach. So remember, the left leg is behind, the knees are together. Left hand is open with the forearm. You're going to shoot the left leg back and block with the left to the back. Uchiuki knee. Okay, good. Now from here, remember the right arm takes the short distance. Short distance, leave the upper body still, then drive the hip in with the right Uchiuki. Sun. Okay, good. Then you're gonna turn Moate. So remember the right arm, sorry, the right leg comes around, you drive off the left, block so ticky. Make sure you cover it. Chi. Yeah, good. And then again, remember when you do this next Uchiuki, so I don't want to see the body go on the preparation. The body stays as you prepare, then hip, chest, arm, together. Rook. Yeah, good. So coming up, so Kuyuki, so scooping block. Uh, some do this with two arms. So some people leave the left hand absolutely still all the way through. That's absolutely fine. Some people prepare the left like Sotuki and then go through again. Both are absolutely fine. But remember, you bend from the knees. Don't stick your bum out. So you bend from the knees, keep the back straight, then drive in right arm Sotuki. Itch. Okay, good. And then Uchuki. So again, remember, upper body stays still as you prepare. And block. Knee. Okay, very good. So from here, you're going to step into Shizen tight. The left hand comes on top slowly. Itch. And then from here, the left hand is going to block Tati Shto. So even though you're not turning into hand me, so you're not having a body rotation, do feel a push on the left chest. So there's pressure on the left chest as you block out with the left arm. Itch. Okay, good. So we're going to do these by two counts to start off with. So just punch Chokzuki. So remember how we punch. So the punching hip go forward and then snap back. Itch. And again, there's some variations on how people do this next movement. But for tonight, when you do the Uchiuki, all it's going to do with the right hand is going to come on top of the left fist and it's going to block out. So the right hand comes on top of the left and block. As you make the block, you drive off the right leg and make a very short Zenkud statue. Note that even though the stance is short, the weight goes from the middle over the left leg. Itch. Yeah, good. Marcus, don't go so sort of back with that right arm, just in front like you would regular Uchi. Yeah, then use this bend to drive back to the middle. Knee. So Shizen Carl, yeah, you're, you're, you're a bit wide and your feet look a bit off. Just your regular natural stance. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, good. So now the left hand will come on top and block. Make sure the weight goes to the right. Knee. Okay. And we're still facing the front on this one. And then we're going to block. So remember, we went into a little bit of detail about this last week. You're trying to keep the legs still as you prepare. So you're not letting that left foot turn as you prepare. Though it's very difficult, try and keep that still until you step forward and block. So, itch. And again, so remember the arms and the legs go together. And remember we talked a lot about the step 
with Shuto in back stance on the weekend. So bear that in mind as you keep the weight over that back leg and pivoting out. Knee. Good. Forward. So. And backwards. So particularly with this one, try to do it a single pivot with the left foot. Pull the right hip back. And block. She. Yeah, good. Okay, so now we come on to the catch. Guys, you're all remembering this brilliantly, by the way. This is really, really good. So, again, we discussed lots of different variations with this next movement. Um, the two main ones, you just move the front leg or you move the front leg and then the back leg comes around. Again, don't mind at all which one you do. Just remember the timing. So as the left foot goes forward, the arms go straight. Then as you pull down, this is when the hip comes in, even on its own, or with the back leg. The hands go from the sto position to Sakamiyuki, catch. So the thumb and four fingers are bent as you pull down. And this is done slowly. Itch. Uh, left leg stays in front of us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, left leg stays in front. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine, 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 fine. So the right hand is on the right side of the body. So I feel like it's in line with the shoulder. So my hand is in line with my right shoulder. So I'm not out, I'm not too low, in line with the right shoulder. The left hand is also Sakamiyuki. The first two fingers are sort of in the well of the wrist and the thumb is just where it comes to naturally on the forearm. And that right arm is heavily bent. And now we have the first Kiai. So remember we broke this down. So we're gonna start by doing the same thing. So just knee the gap, keep the hand still. Itch. Then from this position, you're gonna kick, treat it like a yoga gelikomi, the fumikomi, the stamping kick. As you kick to your knee height, you're going to pull both hands back to your right side and this is the kiai. Knee. From this position, I'm gonna bring my knee up and I'm gonna prepare my hand, san. And then my right leg is gonna to go to the front of the dojo and I'm gonna step back and face the back, chi. Very good. Step forward and block style like before. Itch. Okay. So this is where we have the slow step backwards. So remember, I'm going to squeeze my left inner thigh as I push off my front leg, and I'm going to come back, feet together, back straight, and then raise up. Remember, you bring both hands down. They start palm facing the ceiling. Their hands, but they're palm facing the ceiling. And then they roll up, palms to the front. Everything starts and finishes together. Itch. And let's just try that one again, everyone. Though it's very, very difficult, try not to let your left heel come up as you come back. So the knee is already bent. So push off the left. The, the right leg, sorry, pull with the left and try and keep the left foot flat. Itch. Yes. Okay. And then we're going forward and striking double tet. So remember these hit to the lower ribs, so don't be too high. As we said last week, this used to be done with a knee lift, like the first movement, but now it's mainly just done with a heavy step. And remember, you arc the arms in, so it's not a great big circular movement. They cut down and in. Itch. Okay, and you finish square, good. Then you thrust in, oizuki. So you've got the right leg in front, you were square. The right leg stays in front, and you finish square with the oizuki. Knee. Okay, good. Then we're going to turn and block and strike Shuto. So the right knee is bent. 
the right knee stay, uh, the right knee will drive, same cook stash face in the front of the dojo. As you do this, feel like the left hand goes left and the right hand goes right. So that's sort of where the hand's prepared. The left hand is going to come across to the opposite neck, like you're blocking a punch. At the same time, the right hand is going to come from the right side, attack so to the groin. So it's the left hand covering, the right hand attacking. You drive in into Zenka to that. Pitch. Yes. Very good, guys. And you finish square, shoulders relaxed. Uh, you're doing that the opposite way around, Carl. Carl, watch me. So from this position, my left hand is going to go to my left. My right hand is going to come to my right. Carl, watch. Carl. Right hand goes to the right. And cross. No. Carl, watch. Left hand goes to the left. Right hand goes to the right. Then I'm going to turn. Yes, there you go. Very good. Okay, excellent, guys. This so we're in front stance now. Shoulders relaxed. Elbows close. Then from here, we're going to pull off the back leg, push off the front leg, and come up. Arms in the Manji Gamai position. So Gilan right with the left. And think of it as a Jodan Uchiki with the right. So knee. Okay, very good. So now it's Gidan Barai with the right arm. So my right arm is high. As my right arm comes over, my right knee will come up. And I'll land and block Gidan Barai to the front of the dojo. And you finish in Kibidach. Hitch. Excellent. Really good, guys. Then we're going to block Tati Stub. So the left hand will come underneath and out. Um, I think some people do this as a high shoot, so there is no twist in the hand. Some people do this as a Tati Stub, so the left hand finishes with a twist. Again, of course, it doesn't matter at all which one you do. Yeah. So you, you're facing the front, the right hand down. You're going to look to the back, block him with the left. Hitch. Okay, good. So now we have that mixed of kicking. So the crescent kick, remember where you kick the hand? So you're trying to kick the hand where it is with the right. Then you land and strike Mawashi Empty with the right. So it's right to right. Hitch, knee. Okay, good. And then we have the three punches so again remember we discussed there's a few alternate versions of what to do with the backhand the most common one just feel like you're punching sort of into the joint of the elbow so it's right left right itch nisa okay so this is where we got up to last week approaching the end of the kata so we're facing the sides. We've got our right hand down. Okay. So, again, there are some variations on how to do this next sequence. Some people make hikse first and then go in to the Amazuki. Some people sort of do it as they're moving in. Um, some people do it. And the way we're going to practice tonight is as you make the hikse, you're going to drive into Zenka Tadach. Then you're going to punch Yamazuki. Okay. So on the first count, we're going to break it down to start off with. So we're in Kibidach. So that's the back of my dojo. Yeah, guys, that's going to the back. I'm going to push off my left leg. As I do this, I'm going to bring my hands down to my side. My left hand is a regular heat state position. Right hand is on top. So from here, drive in the to that. Itch. Okay, good. Now just watch, particularly guys who don't know this kata. Yamazuki. Okay, guys. So feel like the right arm is making an uppercut. 
and the left is coming over the top and hitting down. Okay, the bottom hand, the elbow finishes about a fist away from your body, coming up. The top hand feels like it's coming down. You're keeping the shoulder relaxed, so it's not up like this. The shoulder relaxed, and it's coming down in front of the head. Both hands finish on the same plane. Yeah, so they both be up against a wall. My right hip is in. And you see some people sort of do this with a slight bend in the upper body. This is absolutely fine as long as that hip stays in. So for instance, I don't want to see this, where you see where I've bent and my backside of my weight is going backwards. Either stay upright or like say, have that slight bend if you wish, just making sure the hip stays in. Punch Yamazuki. Itch. Okay, good. From this position, you're going to pull your right leg back slowly. So again, remember when we pull, we push off the front leg. We squeeze the inner thigh muscles of the back leg. We're going to come up feet together, right hand in the regular keep tape position, left hand on top this time. Knee. Okay, good. So now we're going to make He's a Gary with the left. So it's a knee attack with the left. And we're going to land and punch Yamazuki with the opposite side. So again, I land in Zenkutsudach. My left hip is in, left hand down, about a fist away from the body, right hand on top, fist on the same plane. If you wish, you can have a slight bend in the upper body where you're driving in as long as that hip remains forward. So it's left knee, Yamazuki. Itch. We're still going to the back of the dojo car. Yeah, all of these are to the back. So I've got my left leg, left arm, uh, left leg in front now. Left leg in front. And whichever leg's in front with these Yamazukis, Cole, yep, yeah, that arm is down. So if my left leg is forward, my left arm is doing the lower punch. And then we're going to pull back slowly again. It's... So now my left hand is down, my right hand on top. On the other side, Bianca. Yes. So my left hand is in the regular heat state position. Right hand on top. And then we have a third and final Hizagari and Yamazuki. So as my knee comes up, my left knee will bend and rise. Itch. Uh, right leg forward now, Marcus. Right, right, right. Yes. Okay. Tricky bit, guys. Coming up to the end of the kata. So again, I know there are probably a lot of variations on these next two movements. Um, we won't go into them now. Just focus on the one that we're going to practice tonight. So you're going to turn and block Nagashiyuki, sweeping block with the right arm. So I've got my right leg forward facing the back of the dojo. My right hand is down. My left hand is on top. From here, my left, so your left leg is effectively going to do what you do in Keon Kata. Yeah, so that's the turn you're going to make. Okay, guys, so that left leg is going to come forward and then out into Zen Kutsudach. As you do that, the right arm is going to block Nagashiyuki. So the right arm is going to come from high and block across. Um, for those of you who have done the Ippon Kumite, it's the fourth block, yeah? The Nagashiyuki, okay? So my left arm is going to stretch, my right arm is going to come up. As I make the Zen Kutsudash, I'm going to drive off my right leg and block Nagashiyuki. Itch! So this is Zen Kutsudash, front stance, um, but... If this is my regular Senku Tadach, hit width, it's a little bit longer and a little bit narrower, okay? So it's not a normal Senku Tadach, yeah? My feet finish on the same line, and if anything, it's a little bit longer than usual. From this position, the right hand is going to make Uchiyuki. 
So my right arm is blocking from here. It's going to make Uchiuki, and it's Gidan Uchiuki. So regular Uchiuki finishes the fist and line to the shoulder. From here, Gidan Uchiuki. Knee! Okay. So on this next movement, guys, again, I know there are some variations. We're not going to step tonight. So our feet are on the same line. So when I do Nenegashiuki with the left, all I have to do is pivot, yeah? So from here, the arm's going to stretch and block Nagashiyuki. Itch! Giran Uchiyuki. Knee! Very good. Good, 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 good. Okay, last three moves. So we've done a lot of double steps recently, yeah, guys? So as my left leg comes up, my left leg is going to come up directly underneath my body. And I'm going to make double step and block. So from here, I'm going to go on a 45 degree angle. As I make the double step, my hands will prepare. Then I'll step through and block. Very good. That's it, Carl. Good, 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 good. And then from here, upper body stays still. Upper body stays still. My front leg is going to circle around. So I'm facing, um, if the front of the dojo is 12 o'clock, one, two, I'm facing about two o'clock, yeah? My front leg is going to come around clockwise, so it's going to about five o'clock. And I'm going to be looking in the opposite direction. So everything's going to two o'clock. Front leg comes round, upper body stays still, and I look to the opposite corner. Itch. Then as my right leg comes up, my hands prepare. Step and block stow with the left and key eye. So just doing it from this angle so you can see. And key eye. Ten. Yeah, that's it. The anchor that way, that way, that way. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, don't, uh, yes, left leg mark, exactly. And then from there, a yummy. Anore. And relax. And that is Bass Side Eye. Uh, Sensei Stewart, I have a question. Go for it, Carl. Um, when I'm at two, when I'm facing the back at five o'clock, Mm -hmm. here. Yep. Like coming, I thought it was a double step to the front, not to this side. No. So, uh, so again, if I, and I know because my sort of, it's awkward with the angle of the room and which way my camera is facing. So if that's the front of my dojo, Carl, so yeah. with this block, I'm going straight. So I'm looking straight. The first though, 45 degrees. Yeah. 45 degrees. 45 degrees. Yep. Yeah. Okay, thank you. And then back to the side. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, any other questions, guys? Yeah, Stuart, just very quickly. I'll see if I can do it yep. this way on. Uh, mm -hmm. So if I was here, right? Yep. And I'm going to turn. Yep. So I don't know whether you can see this or not. So turn. I always thought, uh, I'll see if I can do it this way. So I always thought it was just, so you hook it. But you, yep. you're punching and then hook. That's what we're but doing. It, so we, we did it by two. So if I performed a cat by no count, it would be that. Um, but it is, it has and always has been two movements. So it is a nagashi. And then that's separate. What you don't want to do is just sort of this little hook. So as you say, that's hope that could be a sweep. And that could be a throw or something like that. Okay. Um, but what you want to make sure the body comes in with this part of the technique. And then what you can do is from here, as I prepare that Uchiuki, my body is coming in and then snapping okay. out. So as well as being two arm movements, hmm. arm and body together. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Uh, anyone else, guys? When we do the Yamazuki, 
Yes. Yeah. Okay, cool guys. From the start. Bad side eye. Yoi. Us. So with this first movement, remember what I don't want to see is sort of a, a one, two. So as soon as the knee comes up, you drop in with the left and you're driving straight in. Pitch. Okay, good. Do the next two movements. So you're pushing off the right leg. Remember the left hand is making that small preparation. Left side in with the left arm, right side in with the right arm to the back. Knee. Then you're going to do the next two movements. So remember, you're pushing off the left leg. So tricky with the left. Make sure the arm is covering. Too tricky with the right. Ten. Very good. Slowly, remember, keep the back straight. Coming up to Kuyuki. Right side in. Left Uchiuki. So you're doing three. So Kui, split second stop. So Tuki, Uchiuki. Chi. Okay, good. Next two, slowly up. So remember, you're not just pushing off the left. You're squeezing with the right to Hikse. And then left side out as you block Tati Sto. Go. Uh, natural stance on that, Marcus. Yeah. With the hip, Chokuzuki, prepare and block. Make sure the weight transfers. Itch, knee. Drive off the left, back to the center. Prepare and block. Sun, chi. Okay. You're going to do the four shuto. The timing is one, two, three, four. So as well as all of the back stances and the preparation and the finish being correct, also think about the timing of that left leg on the first one. And in particular, make sure number three completes before you go backwards. So not one and two, where it's rushed. Finish, finish. Four stone. Headway. Very good. So remember the timing of the right side of the body coming in and pulling down to Kamiyuki. Edge. Okay. So remember the hand stay still as you lift the knee. Uh, particularly watch out for stuff like this, guys. I think I mentioned this before. Don't let the right foot scoop out. You see that quite a lot where people scoop out. The same as in onsu, people allow this foot to scoop out before the knee comes up. Direct, direct. Kick down, ki prepare, and so. Etch. Very good. Step forward and block show. Knee. So smooth. So everything starts and finishes together. And guys, particularly watch out for stuff like this. So when you come back, don't stop at the bottom position and then come up. Continuous. Itch. Then drive in with the right. Double tetsui. Knee. Then drive in oizuki. Ten. Uh, so your feet move on that one, Bianca, Marcus. Sorry if they did move. They did. So remember from here, that feeling of Yori actually push bah, and thrust in. Yep. Okay. Yep. 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 Good. So now we have the double show. Like uh, Sensei Hoku said in the chat, some people do it as a nukse, um, some do it as a show. Doesn't matter at all which one you do as long as you finish with the body round. So I don't want to see something like this where you're trying to go so fast 
that this knee is bent and the body's not fully in. Fully in with the right side. Itch. Very good. Uh, shoulders relax. Shoulders down. Right side of the body in. Smoothly back. Go. Itch. Good. Left arm under. And remember, guys, um, particularly the high grades, make sure it's not just the left arm going out. So you can have this feeling of as you prepare the right side, is squeezing in and then out. So sort of this feeling of a wave in your body. You're keeping your stance still, of course, but feeling like everything is coming from the core and then out. Itch. Yeah, so never just the arm. Try to keep the hand where it is, try and hold the right side back. Mikazuki, so holding this right side until you land with the MP. Knee. Okay. Three punches again, not just the arm. Not just the arm, so the right side of the body. Sort of like we did with the uh, Tati Sto earlier on, not just the arm. Not a big movement, but just feeling pressure of the left chest. The same thing here. So it's not just the arm pushing the right side. So you can see this side of the body has moved forward. Then the same with the left. Then the same with the right. The timing is one, stop, two, three. Itch, need sun. Carl, try and keep your legs still on that one. Yeah. So you can, I can see you moving your body, which is good, but you never want to move your body and let your stance change. Keep the legs locked. Push the hips and chest without losing the integrity of the stance. So we're going to do both of these together now. So remember that you're going to drive with the left. This is another one of those movements. I've spoken about them quite a lot recently. Where I don't want you to think about stepping with the right leg. Stepping with the right leg, not that feeling. You push in with the left, push with the left, push and punch. Itch. Okay, good. Then pull back. So the hands are going to come to the right side now. Right, he say, left hand on top, push back. Itch. So this is now the same. So Kong, you still want to be facing the back of the dojo. I'm facing the camera so you can see. This is all going to the back. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you're facing the back, feet together. So pull back now. Pull backwards, backwards, backwards. So your right leg comes backwards. So, Carl, you're now feet together facing the back of the dojo. Carl, feet to the back. Your, your turn to the side. Yeah, 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 yeah. Left knee comes up. So this is similar to the first move, guys. So it's not one, two. As soon as the knee comes up, the weight's going in. The weight's going in. And then drive the Yamazuki. Itch! Yeah, Bianca, that was very good. And if you can push your left side in a bit more from the back, you, you almost look square. Try and make sure it is just one side going in. So left hip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd say more like that. So all of these are still going straight to the back, Carl. All of these are going to the back of the dojo. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Very good. And then pull back. Chi. Still going to the back. Feet going straight to the back. Right side in. Itch. Right side, right side, right side, right side, right side. Right side. 
So Carl, put your hands on the opposite side of the body and right knee in. Carl, look at me. So you want your feet going straight to the back of the dojo. Yours are going to the side. Feet are going to the back of the dojo. Yeah, then just raise your right knee and go straight in. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good. Okay, so now we have um, that Nagashuki Uchiuki. So like Anthony asked earlier on, this is done smoothly. So though we broke it down before, do this smooth, guys. Just make sure that the body's coming in on the Nagashuki and then hook the Uchiuki. Yes. Yeah, really good, guys. Yeah, brilliant. And then you can do the same on the opposite side. So this left arm pairs. Same on the opposite side. Knee. Left arm, left arm, left arm. Double step. Itch. Uh, don't, so you keep your right leg forward on that one, Marcus. So go back to the uh, Uchiki. Yes, yeah, so Marcus, go back one. Yeah, so left, right. Left step, right step. Yes, very good. So feel like the weight stays on the left leg, feel like the upper body stays still. So all you're doing, guys, is you're keeping the exact same body position. You're just rotating it round. The only difference is your head is looking the opposite direction. So normally, this would be a, if this is a completely normal show going to that back corner, it's just my head is facing the opposite direction. Itch. And then my right leg comes up, feet together, left leg steps and ki. Me. Uh, the other way, Bianca. Yes. Go back one, Marcus. Yeah. When you do the yame, your left leg comes back to the starting position. Yame. Honore. And relax. Okay, guys. Very good. Okay. Any questions from anyone? Okay, we're going to do it one more time. Still to count and in sequence. So like we did last time, guys. Um, if you know it and you're confident, do it fast. And if you're still learning it, do it lightly. Okay, guys, but do be thinking about someone. So we've covered quite a bit of detail over the last three weeks. Um, so remember as much as you can and try to apply that detail now and black belts, those of you who have done this cat many, many times before. Um, still trying to apply that detail, but very fast. Fast side eye, yoy. So remember, not one, two. Straight in. Itch. Okay, so remember it's the left side, left side, right side, to the back. Knee. Left side, right side, to the front. Turn. Slowly up, stop for a split second. Right side, left side. Chi. Slow, left hand on top, left side out. Go. On. Punch, block, transfer into weight. Punch, block, transfer into weight. Look. Both sides, both sides, both sides. Uh, the first side was good, 
Bianca, but the left side, the second side, you did this. So the punch was good, but then as you prepared, your body went, and then the arm was on its own. So you want the preparation on its own, then the leg and the hip and the chest, all coming in together. Yes, exactly, very good. Do the four stow. So remember the timing of the left leg to the upper body, completing everything in a good back stance. So remember the timing, stop on the third one, and then coming back. Yeah. Yep. Very good, guys. Slowly catch. Hatch. First key eye. So go. And step forward, so go. Slowly back, itch. In with the tetsui, thrust in with the punch. Knee. Excellent, guys. Drive behind, double stroke toe. Ten. That's it, Bianca. E Go, Marcus. Yeah, 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 yeah. E nearly, nearly. Yes, very good. This is where the right hand goes right, Carl. The left hand goes left. Is he thinking or is that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's it, that's it, that's it. That's the finishing position, Carl. Carl, watch. Remember, the left hand goes left, the right hand goes right, then they cross. Yep, very good. Pull back slowly, itch. No, Carl, 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 Carl. Left hand goes left, right hand goes right. Cross. Yep. Yes. Yep, yep, yep. Go and drive that right leg straight. And pull back slowly, Carl Itch. Next move, Carl. Up, 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 up. That's it, Carl, then pull up slow. Yes. Right knee, right arm. Itch. Good. Remember that feeling of a wave in the body and block, touch so itch. Kick the hand, strike the hand. Knee. Okay, three punches. Remember, use the body. Remember to time and keep the stand still. Ten. Drive off the left leg. Yamazuki, all of these to the back, remember. Itch. Slowly back. Knee. So my hands are on my right side, right hand underneath, left hand on top. Both of my feet are going straight to the back of the dojo. Left knee, left side in. Itch. Carl, your feet want to be pointing straight to the back of the dojo. No, that's your right side, left side, left side, left side. Yeah. So, Carl, when you pull back now, you're going to be facing the same direction. Both of your feet are going to be facing straight. Itch. Yeah, exactly. Really good. No, nope. your hands were right the first time. Yeah. Right side in. Knee. Yes. Double block. 
Ve gel şu iki, üç, üç. Yes. Hey. So remember, the right leg stays in front. Left leg, right leg. Itch. Yes. Right leg round. Knee. Right leg, left leg, and ki. Ten. Ten. And left leg back, yame, anore, and relax.